Here's a situation. You have costs by three repeating departments. What you need is a way to sum every third value. Let's take a look at this example. Here I have four branches, three departments each. I want to sum together the third value, which is going to be sales in every branch. So in essence, I just want to add together all my sales. If this was raw data, I didn't have these headers right here, and I knew I wanted to sum together the third value or the nth value, every nth value, I would still have to know to myself what that represented. What is that? If I came up with the total for every nth value, what does that represent? What is that? I would have to know. Since I would have to know, I'm going to make things easy on myself and just put it in the spreadsheet as a header. When you're working in Excel, of course, you can make things hard on yourself. You can make things easy on yourself. As a smart manager, you always want easy. Easy is quick. Time is money. So whether this came with header, headers or not, because I know what the third uh, position always represents, I'm going to add a header. And the header I'm going to add is going to be spelled exactly the same throughout. Because now that allows me to use a very simple formula. I'm going to use the sum ifs. I could also use just regular sum if. But I'm going to use the sum ifs. Here's the sum range. Here is the criteria range. I'm going to lock that in place by hitting F4. And my criteria is simply the word sales. 30. I can check it by highlighting each one of these and holding down the control key. Looking down here and seeing that the correct answer is 30. So this worked. Grab it. Drag it. And I would stop right there. I'm done. Now if I got this spreadsheet from somebody else and the sales headers were there but they weren't consistent. Let's say for example it said LA sales. Dallas sales, New York sales, Chicago sales and so on. I would change it. I purposely laid this out this way so I could use a very simple formula. I still think you can tell this is LA sales, Dallas sales, New York sales, and so on. You could use a formula like this to do the same thing without the need for the header information, but I think it's overly complicated. Let's explain it. I'll start in the middle. You have a column, column, function. This is going to return the number of the column that it represents. This is an array formula, so you're going to have a range here. It's going to start in B. B is the second column, so that's going to be a 2. Column A is the first column. That's going to be a 1. Column A is not part of this, so I have to subtract it out. So the first time it runs through this, it's going to be 2 minus 1, or 1. Mod is going to return a remainder after doing division based on this divisor. 3, because that's what we're interested in, every third value. So this whole thing right here for the first column is going to say 1 divided by 3. Remainder would be 1, because 3 does not go in to 1 at all. The equals 0 is the, uh, the remainder that we're interested in. When we get to 3 divided by 3, there will be no remainder. It'll be 0, and that's what we want. Since I'm using a divisor of 3, there's only three possibilities. It's either going to be a remainder of 0, a remainder of 1, or a remainder of 2. And they're going to repeat throughout. Also, because this is an array, this is going to return trues and falses. So what it, this right here is going to return is basically false, false, true, false, false, true, false, false, true, false, false, true. We can't work with trues and falses. So if I put a double dash in front of it, it's going to switch it to zeros and ones. So I'm going to get 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So we're interested in ones. And the array is going to multiply this array times this one and add them together. So when you're multiplying by zero, that's basically a wash. Nothing's going to happen. So if we could see this whole thing play out, some product is going to say 1 times 3 plus 1 times 6 plus 1 times 9 plus 1 times 12. And it's going to come up with the correct answer. Grab it, drag it. I think it's too complicated for this situation. I wouldn't use it. Let me show you what I did here. This is really the only solution that I would recommend, and that is a way to solve this need.